You know, Phil, sometimes I have this feeling as a presenter, I get this vibe that the audience, well, they're just not that into me. But is it something about me, something about them, or something else? I reckon it's all of the above. What do you mean? Well, I think whether you're presenting in person or via a webinar, sometimes there's invisible barriers that sit between you and your audience. Okay, on one hand, I'm relieved because it's not about me. On the other hand, what can I do about it? Well, you can relax because there is something you can do about it. Now, I might illustrate by way of example, okay? Okay. So I had to give a presentation to a group of active retirees, some of whom had time on their hands. Now, the issue was that my speech was designed to help time poor people engage more effectively with their communities. Then why didn't you decline the offer to speak or choose to speak about something else? Well, the reason is there was something in it for all of them in the techniques that I was going to teach. I just had to frame it in a way that would make it interesting to all. Okay, so you've hedged your bets. You've actually covered off for the time poor people and for the retirees. That is cool. Precise Omundo. And that's probably not so cool. But the reason I do it is otherwise I run the risk that half the audience switches off because they don't think it's for them. Now I know how to do it, how do I know what needs framing? Well, I reckon there's three key areas that you as a presenter might need to frame. Things about you, things about it or your topic, and things about them, the audience. Hmm? Well, the audience might not like something about you. It could be your job title, your appearance, your background, or even your gender. Okay. Yeah, as a small business owner, I was asked to give a presentation for corporate employees who might have had an issue with the fact that I was a small business owner and thought, what do I have to offer them? But I let them know that I'd had a corporate role beforehand. See, that's great. Because you've let them know that you have been in their shoes before. Okay, great. So that's framing issues that the audience might have with me. What about it, my topic? Well, your audience might not like your topic or they think they know more about it than you or they just don't see its relevance. So in my active retiree example, I framed it in a way that they would think it was all relevant to them. You know, a lot of presenters can also worry about questions. Can framing help with that too? Yeah, framing's really good for that. So you might say at the start of your webinar, I really want to take your comments and questions as they come in today. Now I'll be able to answer some of them straight away, but others I'll make a note of and follow up later. You know, that's so simple. You know, I actually think I do that instinctively. I don't know why I didn't think to do it in a webinar. Yeah, well, we don't need to treat webinars that differently. We just need to raise our level of awareness about these things. And when it comes to framing out them, you know, issues that the audience might have. Hmm. Well, in my active retiree example, knowing that some of them had time on their hands was a feature of them that I had to cater for. Yeah. So, there you have it, folks. To get the best vibe from your audience, make sure you think well in advance about any issues that you need to frame for your audience about them, you, or your topic that you need to cover off on. And make sure you do the framing and don't get framed by your audience. <laughs>